mommy, I'm bored. Mommy, 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 I'm bored. I'm bored, mommy, I'm bored. That's all I hear from my kids all day is mommy, I'm bored. Hey there, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 21 activities to do at home when you are just bored in the house quarantine edition. Um, so I know a lot of you guys have been, you know, being creative and trying to figure out ways to kind of keep yourself preoccupied when you're at home, you know, during this whole pandemic. So I thought I would share with you some, um, you know, activities that you could, you know, try out and, you know, incorporate into your, you know, home life, you know, routine now that, you know, we kind of are on lockdown. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. All right, before we get started, um, just for those of you who are new here, my name is Crystal and on my channel, I talk about all things fashion, beauty and lifestyle, you know, just things to kind of help you get you through your day. Um, that's the purpose of my channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy, you know, the content. I have all kinds of content on my channel, mostly fashion. So check out some of my other videos. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you, you know, like this video and want to see more from me. So let's get into the activities. So the first thing I want to talk about, um, or the first activity that I want to talk about is prayer or meditation. However, you know, whatever you do to kind of, you know, get your mind off things. To me, prayer and meditation is important um, just to kind of, you know, keep your mind focused and keep you from wondering, you know, you know, and being anxious, you know, and so prayer for me is one way to, you know, keep my mind off of all that's going on in the world. It keeps me grounded, it keeps me centered, keeps me, you know, and, you know, focused and keeps me in, you know, connection with, um, the Lord. So that's one way that you can kind of keep yourself busy. Um, because perhaps maybe all this happened, maybe God allowed all this to happen for us to get, you know, closer to him. Maybe, perhaps. All right, number two is work on a home project. Me and my husband have been keeping really busy over the summer and just during the pandemic in general um, with just different home projects. We've, you know, gotten our patio redone, which I will try to do a tour of that whenever I get it all decorate, you know, decorated and whatnot. Um, but we've, you know, had some painting done, just different, several projects we've done um, throughout this whole um, pandemic just to kind of keep, you know, ourselves preoccupied and just, you know, because we're not really going anywhere, you know, it's, you know, getting the house kind of, you know, beautified. It's just, you know, one way to, you know, make things, you know, a little bit more tolerable as far as us not going anywhere. So that's just one thing, you know, one way to kind of keep yourself, you know, preoccupied is to work on some home projects. I'm sure you can find something in your home that needs to be improved. All right, number three is read. Um, I love to read. I don't read as much as I probably should be um, because I've been busy with the other things, but that's just one way that you can, you know, keep yourself preoccupied is, you know, find a good book, you know, go outside, sit under the trees, go into, you know, go to your favorite, you know, couch or whatever, and just get lost in a really good book, you know, um, or, you know, a good magazine, you know, something, just, just read something, you know, to kind of, you know, pass the time and just kind of keep your mind um, preoccupied. You know, reading is fundamental. So um, you just, you just never know what you may learn and, you know, it'll increase your vocabulary as well. So yeah, just read a good book and, um, you know, pass the time. Uh, number four is Netflix, or I would say any kind of, you know, stream, video streaming or movie streaming service like Hulu, um, Amazon. I just recently got Amazon Prime, and I think I'm able to watch videos or movies um, on my Amazon Prime. So just any kind of video streaming service, I would say, um, you know, binge watch some of your, you know, favorite TV shows from the past. Um, Netflix have, you know, some really good ones on there right now and they keep adding, you know, stuff right now because they know people aren't going anywhere in the movie theaters, at least where I'm, you know, at or where I'm located aren't really open right now. So, um, yeah, so that's just one way to kind of, you know, pass the time. I love movies. That's one thing that I, you know, hate about, you know, all of this that's going on is I'm not able to go to the movies like I used to because I was an avid, you know, movie goer. So now I'm having to you know, substitute that and watch things at home on, you know, my Netflix or, you know, 
um, other, you know, things. But um, yeah, so any kind of video streaming service that you may have, it may be a good time to, you know, to get, you know, get one um, just to kind of, you know, pass the time again. So yeah, so that's number four. Uh, number five is family game night. Um, this is something that me and my family did um, over the Christmas um, holidays. We got together and just my, uh, me and my husband bought a whole bunch of games and we just had a family game night, you know, and, you know, one way to get the family, you know, connected and together. Um, and it was fun. You know, we had things like Family Feud, um, Taboo, you know, just some of those older games, too. We um, had Twister, you know, I know Twister's old, but, you know, it's fun, too. So, um, yeah, so family game night, you know. Get some popcorn pops you know get you guys your favorite snacks and just you know spend the night you know just family together and just having a family game night so yeah so that's number five uh, number six is exercise i know personally for me i have fell off the wagon when it comes to like eating right and exercise and i'm trying to get back on it um because you know you're bored right and all, when you're bored you tend to just eat up stuff and so um, one way to kind of counteract that is to exercise. So, um, yeah, so you could, there's lots of, you know, um, home workout videos that you can find, you know, right here on YouTube, just, you know, Google some stuff. I have some saved to my save later, um, section of my, um, YouTube channel that I just go to, or can go to, um, to, um, you know, kind of get some things to work out with. Um, cause I, don't have a gym membership and I actually have a home gym so there's no need for me to have a membership so um yeah so that's one way to pass the time and also get yourself healthy and fit during this whole you know thing that's going on right now um is to exercise so yeah so that's number six get yourself active girl mm-hmm uh, number seven is rearrange uh your furniture um I've done this several times it's just one way to kind of do something different, you know, you may want to move a couch from, you know, one, you know, side of the living room to the other side, or, you know, you may want to move your bed around or something in your bedroom. I don't know, girl, it's just something to do. Okay. Um, I, I like to rearrange, you know, my, de my decor sometimes. Sometimes I like to rearrange my furniture. It's just something to kind of make the place seem different, even though you know, hey, that's the same couch. But if, you know, if you can't afford to go and buy, you know, furniture, you know, you can always move it around or move, you know, one um, chair to another room or just, you know, kind of play around with it, you know. It's just one way to kind of, again, you know, keep yourself preoccupied and, you know, give your home kind of a different look kind of a different feel i guess so yeah so yeah that's number seven rearrange your furniture uh number eight um is declutter or clean um i'm sure you can find something in your home that you can declutter whether it be your closet or you know your storage if you have like a storage area and you just need to get rid of some stuff um now is the perfect time um especially if you're not working or you know you're working from home um, yeah, you could just go and get rid of stuff and, you know, either donate it or sell it or whatever. Um, I, this is probably, this is still on my to-do list is to declutter. I keep saying I'm going to declutter some stuff because I have too much, you know, too many clothes. As you guys probably know, if you are, are not brand new here, I love shopping. So I tend to accumulate a lot of pieces, you know, very quickly. So I'm trying to like put that on my list or do it it's on my list i just gotta do it to declutter and get rid of some things that i no longer am using and you know someone else can use so you know that's one good way of you know helping the community and helping out is to get rid of stuff that you no longer like that you no longer love that you no longer use and give it to someone else who may be in need so that's my way of giving back and also you're getting just getting rid of things in your home in general that this you just don't need that's just you know taking up space and you're just hoarding okay um so yeah so that's number eight um declutter or you know clean around the house uh number nine is cook new recipes um this again something that we've been trying out i've tried out this one recipe called um it's like a um like a sh maybe like a shrimp fried rice i guess is what you could call it um basically in substitute for just regular rice we used um like the cauliflower rice didn't think i'd love cauliflower but it's it's grown on me you know it has no taste kind of like broccoli but you have to really season it up so i just 
put me some shrimp in there, season it up, and you know, have me some, you know, shrimp fried rice, you know, with the healthy option, you know. Um, I went to one of my local Sam's and got some like, it's like some orange chicken, and I also did that with the cauliflower rice, and it tastes just like Chinese food. I mean, delicious. If you have a Sam's near you, then I can't think of the name of the brand, but it's like a sh uh, orange chicken and it's already packaged up and you just, you know, put the sauce on there. Anyway, girl, it's good. It tastes just like Chinese food and I love Chinese food. So anyway, so yeah, so find you some new recipes to cook. Get your, that cookbook out that's got dust on it. Call up a girlfriend that you know makes a good dish and, you know, get to cooking, girl, you know, get to experimenting with, you know, new foods, you know, you just, Hey, you have the time, right? All right, number 10 is yard work. And, you know, it's summertime and, and, you know, a lot of people are gardening, and, you know, and mowing the lawns and just doing things in the yard to kind of spruce the yard up. Um, that's something that, you know, I've been doing, we've been doing around our home as well. And, you know, just getting the yard looking nice. Um, yeah, you can find all kinds of things that you can do um, right now. I would suggest not doing those things like in the middle of the day, especially if you live in a hotter climate or, you know, it's, it's summertime, so it's hot everywhere right now. Um, but, you know, try to do things either early in the morning or late, late in the evening, you know, if you're going to do yard work right now, because it's like I said, it's super hot. Um, so just so that you, you know, don't get dehydrated and pass out out there, honey. Yeah, but yard work, you know, find something on yard that you think you might can beautify and, you know, just make, you know, make it, um, make it your own, I guess. So yeah, that's number 10 is, um, you know, do yard work. Number 11 is plan what to do after all this is over with. I know for me, on the top of my list, honey, is to go on vacation. Like, I don't care if it's just down the street, okay? No, but seriously, it's going to be out of state, okay? I'm not going to be anywhere near Georgia, um, which is where I'm from, um, when this is all said and done. I'm going to be on somebody something that is not in Georgia, okay? Um, because I just, I love to travel, and this whole thing is just like like everybody I, I i'm assuming you know it's just kind of put a dent in everybody's you know travel plans so especially in the summertime when most people travel so um yeah that's on my to-do list is to travel um so yeah just plan out what you want to do when all this is over with just so that you know gives you something to look forward to right so that you can say okay kind of you know that light at the end of the tunnel like okay this is almost over with so this is what i'm gonna do when it's all said and done so yeah just just start writing down what you want to do when this is all over and yeah and just you know get excited for what you know you possibly could be you know get to do when um you know we get back to i guess normal i guess all right number 12 is write a book um it can be on you know anything anything that you that you love anything that you enjoy um you know and that's to me writing a book is something that's um all been a goal of mine i haven't started it yet but it's just a goal of mine is to write a book about something i kind of have in mind what i want to write about but um to me it's therapeutic writing and you know but even if it's like even in a journal um it's to me just getting those thoughts out on paper is just very therapeutic and you know if you end up you know with a bestseller you know novel then hey thumbs up you know what i mean win-win right so yeah just get out that piece you know that pen and piece of paper and just start writing down you know and just see where it takes you uh number 13 is sit outside um you know whether it be sit outside on your porch outside of your backyard just you know get outside and you know get out of the house and just soak up that vitamin d put your sunscreen on though first but yeah just go outside and just enjoy and just be one with nature number 14 is call or facetime a family or a friend um I'm, sh I'm sure there are a lot of people who um still have not gone anywhere we've gone places but and, and you know visited family but we still aren't going like we used to so if you know someone who isn't going out and you know you know being around people call them you know call your family call your friends 
and check up on them and you know just see how they're doing you just you just never know you may make their day and they may make yours too so yeah um call that friend or that family member up and you guys just strike up a good old conversation number 15 is um, arts and crafts with your kids if you have kids and like i said my kids that's all I hear is I'm bored, especially my daughter. She just is bored, 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 bored all the time because she's, you know, a, a younger. So, um, yeah, find you some arts and crafts that you can do with your kids that'll keep them busy. You know, Pinterest is a good um, website to go to, to, you know, for arts and crafts for kids. Um, yeah, so, yeah, just, you know, find something that'll keep them busy and also keep you sane, girl, okay? Hello. Uh, number 16 is have a date night with your spouse. And when I say date night, I mean in, you know, if you're not going anywhere, um, then just, you know, you both just cook a nice meal, you know, set the dinner table up and just, you know, have you a good old date night inside, you know, in your home, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, catching you know covid you know or you know you're not you have to worry about being paranoid am i gonna get it if i go you know whatever you ain't gotta deal with all that if you just you know setting up a nice you know intimate setting with just you and your spouse where you guys could just have that one-on-one -on -one just to talk about your day or you know whatever you know to talk about you know life or you know plans or whatever you know just have that you know date night at home if you you know, don't feel comfortable going to restaurants or going out right now, um, then you can certainly do those things at home. So yeah, so set up, you know, a good old date night with you and your and your boo, just in the comfort of your own home. Uh, number 17 kind of goes with um, writing a book, but it's keep, um, keep a journal. Um, keep a journal of, um, you know, what you've been doing during this time, you know, um, just kind of, again, kind of, you know, getting those thoughts and, um, you know, those ideas down. And yeah, like I said, it's therapeutic to write, you know, so the same goes for, you know, keeping a journal of, you know, what's going on. Some people have been using YouTube as a journal um, and some people have actually been, you know, writing in a journal. So if you've been doing that, then great. If not, then, you know, it's, it's not too late. We don't know how long this is gonna be going on, you know, so you can certainly, you know, um, put down in a journal what you've been feeling and your thoughts and things like that and just you know yeah put your feelings down on paper um number 18 is self-care and this can be any you know mean anything for anybody but you know you can you know um draw you a warm bath get you some you know like nice little um you know body things you know like you know uh you know body soaps and you know there's all kinds of things out there that you can you know put in a bath okay um like bubble bath you know draw you a nice bath girl um you know do your nails you know do your you know your feet you know get your foot you know uh, foot um detox some sort of foot detox that you can use um yeah so just self-care you know self-care whatever that you know, maybe for you, whatever you enjoy, you know, something to pamper yourself at home, just something that you enjoy to do, you know? So yeah, so that's number 18, self-care. Number 19 is start a blog or a YouTube channel, which is what I did. Actually, I started my blog and my YouTube channel before quarantine, but I started being consistent with my YouTube channel, you know, during quarantine. And I've enjoyed every every minute of it. It hasn't seemed like a task, you know, a daunting task or a job to do. I have enjoyed it. So um, it's just definitely has been keeping me busy um, because I upload it, you know, about three times a week, which I think I'm gonna kind of, you know, back down on that because it is a lot of work. This people, you see people doing YouTube and you think it's just so fun and you know, so easy, but it's, it's a lot of work. Like I see when I hear people say, oh, it was a lot of work, I'm like, yeah, right. But when you actually do it, you realize it is a lot of work and a lot of commitment. So yeah, so if you're good at something or you enjoy something, then, you know, create a blog or a YouTube channel, center around it and share, you know, your expertise and, you know, your, you know, opinion on something because you know all of us are different and we all bring something different to the table yeah so number 19 is start a, a blog or a youtube channel 
Number 20 is learn to play an instrument. Um, and again, you know, there's tons of YouTube videos on here that you can just, you know, do a search on how to play the guitar, or how to play the piano, or, you know, whatever you wanna play. You know, now is the perfect time to learn an instrument. And like I said, YouTube is the go-to if you wanna learn how to do anything. You can learn how to do it on YouTube. Like literally, I learned how to swim watching YouTube videos. I know that sounds crazy, but I did. I just kept watching a few of them and got the technique and went and, and practiced and I learned and I know how to swim now. I know it's it sounds funny, but you can learn how to do anything on YouTube, okay? So if you wanna learn how to play the piano, the guitar, then hey, now is the time to take it up. You never know, you make it start a band, you never know. All right, and the last one is learn a new language. Um, again, this is something that, you know, you can learn on YouTube or there's different apps out there, free apps. I um, know of one app called Duolingo, I think. Yeah, Duolingo. And I learned, been trying to learn how to uh, speak or learn Spanish on that app. So yeah, so there's several apps on, you know, out right now that you can learn how to, you know, learn a new language. Um, I think Rosetta Stone, I don't know if that's online. Don't quote me on that, I, I'm not sure, but yeah. So um, yeah, so that's all, that's all of them. That's all 21 activities that you can do when you're bored. That is a lot. So you have, you have a list, okay, that you can refer back to um, if, you know, you run out of ideas or if you're at home one day and you don't know what to do, then just, you know, refer back to this um, video, you know, and like it and share it to other people who may need some ideas um, of what to do when, you know, you're bored at home, you know? Um, so yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And before I forget, I did, I forgot to mention it early in the video, um, what I'm wearing um because y'all know i love fashion on this channel um this um muscle tee shoulder pad muscle tee is from storettes y'all know i love a good shoulder pad muscle tee okay um but it's from storettes i will try to link it down below and my um initial necklace is from bobble bar it just has like some uh what do you call it pearl detail uh, with my initial c and it has like some like a paper clip kind of a chain Kind of looks like paper clips to me. Um, but yeah, so I got this from Bobble Bar. So I will link um, these down below. Uh, my bracelets I got from Shein. I will try to link these as well. So everything I'm wearing, I will try to link down below. Um, so that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you got value out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And share this video as well if you know someone who you know, may need um, the information that I, you know, presented to you guys today. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be a fashion video on Friday. So um, yeah, see you guys then and enjoy your day and stay safe out there. And yeah, so see you guys next time. All right. Bye.